Okay guys, welcome back to episode 5 of FTL. Today we'll be looking at the Mantis Cruiser and how to unlock it as usual. So to unlock it you need to be in the Mantis homeworld and you need to find uh, a normal beacon with a ship on it that, uh, that has uh, a legendary thief named Kazak Pleth Killick. And uh, so once you find him, you will need to be able to kill the enemy crew, uh, like let's say teleporter or whatever. But you do need uh, level 3 sensors above, or a level 1 teleporter, or level 2 teleporter, whatever you want. But you need to be able to just kill the people on their ship without destroying the ship in general. And you also need uh, a level 2 med bay, or a uh, clone bay. And you also need a Mantis crew member to unlock the, uh, the blue, uh, we, uh, blue event. So here are the three achievements that you will need to get type B. Uh, take no prisoners, kill a crew of 20 ships by sector 6 in the Mantis cruiser. Which is not that hard. I don't know, the ship is meant for boarding. So it's going to be quite easy with three Mantis. Kill five enemy crew in a fight without taking hull damage or losing a crew member while using the Mantis cruiser. So, basically, uh, we're just gonna find one of those ships, one of the rebel ships that can only that doesn't want to fly away or like charge up its FTL. That has a beam drone and a mini laser, so it won't be able to pier pierce our shields or just get level two shields, uh, and then find a ship with five crew member. And the last one, while using the Magic Cruiser, kill the last enemy with your last crew member on the ship. So once we get these two, I'm just going to kill off everyone and then, uh, or, yeah, go kill everyone on their ship except for, like, the last one. And then, uh, kill off all my men, send my last person in there, and then that'll be that. Okay guys, so it looks like we found the right one with the last possible timing, the last uh, beacon I could find. Um, everything's taken over by the rebels, but here we go. Uh, this is the event you should be looking for. You should have this exact text, this exact name, exactly thing. I don't know how to pronounce it. Don't ask me. But if you do have a crew, uh, a crew member, a Mantis crew member. You should be getting this, and I'm pretty sure you have sensors level 2, but I'd have the Mantis crew member just in case. Always have them if you're going to unlock the ship. One of the best ones. So, let's get into it. So, you click that, and you have to kill everyone on their ship. Well, so far, this isn't that hard. <laughs> all I have to do is send all my people over. How am I? Oh, are you kidding me? And yes, there's one of them down. This is gonna be pretty tricky. Boom! Such a massive amount of damage. Yes, I will survive because that flak two hit is. Uh, missile, which is just great. Uh oh, who's winning this fight? I am, and I'm gonna finish this. I do have level two medbay, which you do need. Oh my god, I didn't even notice. So yeah, this will pop up, and since you have level two medbay, you click uh, quickly teleport additional crew to check uh, and check for survivors. See advanced medbay right here. Uh, you find them in the corner. You bring them on, you get this text, except there we go, Mantis Cruiser Type A, and uh, some other stuff. But you do get Kazakus Palace, I think that's his name. You get Mantis uh, Pheromones, which makes your crew 25% more faster. You, um, you get a quest in the next sector. I guess you get that too. Uh, it's been added to the hangar. And that's pretty much it. So, to sum it up, you do need Mantis crew member, level 2 med bay, 
crew teleporter or like hacking to take down their oxygen, I think. No, I don't think you can do that because I tried it once and it didn't work. But I'll show you this guy. Um, any people you get from an event, all their stuff will be maxed out. So max fighting, max engines, max pretty much everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll be right back with type B and getting all the achievements to get to type C. Okay guys, here we go. We got Mantis type A, the Gila monster, and we're going to need to get these three achievements. And then that'll be that. Also a quick battle with this ship. Uh, it's a pretty fun ship. It starts off with a lot of crew member, three Mantis, which is great. Uh, the only bad thing is you don't start off with a four person teleporter which type B does and I'm pretty sure type C also does but doesn't matter wow okay so here's looks like uh, we're gonna be fighting someone yep we're gonna attack him send our crew members here looks like human yes okay so he does have three crew members which kind of stinks my crew members aren't good enough yet to really be good. But they should be able to kill off both of these. And human again? No, NG. They want the same speed. Uh, NGs don't really fight much and they suck. So, looks like we're just gonna take a shit. And I'm pretty sure you do get more stuff off of the ship so more scrap more fuel drone parts explosives so that's why the mantis the mantis ship is one of the best because it has such like and uh oh it's three person but that's still pretty good a three person med bay uh you start with an ng so you don't uh, have just like two mantis crew members on the other ship and if your teleporter goes down you basically lose but that's basically it. I'll come back once I get one of the achievements. Teleport on board. Damn, too damaged. Not even close to doing damage to me. What? No. Ah! <laughs> Oh my god, we got it on the last last one. There we go, guys. Uh, as you can see, I'm literally on the exit of Sector 5. And uh, I got this one, which is pretty cool. I thought it, I thought it would be a lot faster, but I guess not. So I'll come back once I get uh, kill 5 enemy crew, and then eventually just kill off my people, and then do a one-on-one. -on -one. Battle Royale. See you guys then. Okay, so I can't lose a crew member. It's gonna be hard because I only have level one of this. They didn't say I can't do damage to them, so. Oh, I did kill one of them. Ooh, there we go. So we did get the second one and type B. Uh, yeah, it wasn't that hard. All you have to do is just find uh, a ship with a uh, clone bay. Oh, shoot, I'm still fighting. But yeah, that's all you have to do is just find them with a the clone bay. Um, make sure you have like high enough shields. 
doesn't really matter. But that's pretty much how you get the achievement. So I'll see you guys in the last one. So uh, I hit this battle. I brought uh, Lauren on their ship down to the lowest health possible, killing off all my crew. So it says he's a magic cruiser. Kill the last enemy with your last crew member on their ship. So I'm just killing off all my people, sadly. Try to see Jax go because he's such a skilled fighter. That was a sad sight. But it'll all be worth it. Just to get the last achievement. So I'm on their ship and murdered him. Battle Royale. Ooh, got some stuff with it too. Uh, I don't know what that is. I'll have to read it later. But there we go. I got all three achievements. And we'll be back showing off Type B. Okay, guys. So we got Type B. Um, my personal favorite ship out of all of them. You only start with two Mantis, which is not that good. Not as good as Type A, which starts with three Mantis and an NG. Um, we did get all three achievements. Not in one run, but we did get them. So it does start with a four person teleporter, which is just crazy amazing. So I'll show you a bit of a battle. The point of this is you start with level two shields, which is pretty great. So you can't get killed by uh, ships like this, which target down your uh, level when you start with level one shields. And then also, uh, hold on, uh, yeah, it starts with a defense drone in case they have missiles, and a boarding drone in case they have more people and you need help on their ship. But it works pretty well. Um, it's great for the boss battle because you can send four people in at once. Hacking keeps people in a room. So yeah, it's a pretty overall great ship. I personally like it a lot. But the only downside is if your defense drone doesn't stop a missile, then your uh, it could hit your teleporter, and then you, there'd be no way of them getting back. And there we go. I got a another mantis so uh so a tip for mantis ships and all this get reconstructive teleporter resultant shield bypass those things are great you can also get mind control or hacking because hacking you can take down their med bay if you don't have any missiles and mind control just to get that like uh third or fifth person if you want to help you out in a battle and uh so yeah, I'll be back once I get to Sector 8, and about to unlock Type-C. Oh, there we go, guys. So we did just unlock Mantis Cruiser Type-C. It was pretty much a breeze for me. Uh, I just got 4 Mantis, 5 Mantis, actually. I used to have six, uh, 7 Mantis, but 2 of them died. I do have Kazak, so I did get the uh, achievement once more, showing you that it's not impossible to get, but I do start off with the teleporter, so that's pretty easy. But yeah, I got it again, so I got Kazak. So here we go, guys. We unlocked Type C eventually. It wasn't that hard, but uh, the ship's a bit. Hmm, I don't know how to say it. It's a bit weird. That's what it looks like. It gotta say, it looks pretty cool. It starts with uh, two bombs, a crystal ship. Bomb. So this is the, uh, unless you unlock type C of the rock cruiser, this will be the only one, the only crystal thing you get, and except for the crystal ship. But it's pretty cool, it basically just locks down the room, it's basically like hacking, but it has a certain time that's unbreakable. And so you start off with, uh, Alanius, Mantis, and an NG, which, mm, it's okay, the NG's good with the Mantis ship. Mantises, obviously on Mantis ship, but there's no med bay, and you start off with Lanius, which is weird. But uh, you do start off with a four person teleporter, and I'll just show you a quick battle. Basically, uh, you have the lock bomb and the stun bomb. One's to lock them in, the other one's to stun them. And uh, I'm just gonna. And the good thing about the ship, you don't actually need weapons. You just send this guy in there and. Disable it until you can walk away. Well, I guess now you do need weapons. <laughs> oh, and I'm getting my butt killed. But basically, uh, 
Yeah, you just disable our weapons until you can make a good enough escape away. And there you go, he took down his weapons. If they ever come back online, then he'll take them down. But I should be safe for now. And but if you get a four crew lanius or a four lanius crew, that'll be really good because it'll take like ten seconds for it to sit in, and then their crew will just immediately start dying like super fast. They'll die before you even know it because like lanius is draining the oxygen. I'll just show you this battle, even though I don't want to. <laughs> Oh, and see, if you keep this open, he's gonna drain everything. Sucks. And a Mantis and a Lanius in the same ship, or fighting at the same time. Not that good, because your... Your Mantis will probably die. Which sucks. And I'm pretty sure I should have done this a lot, a lot differently. Oh, get out of there. And get some shields. There. And she'll automatically go to the shields no matter where you are. Uh destroy the ship. But yeah, no matter what happens, they will always go to the shields. Just a tip. Uh and this is what sucks. If they're low health, there's no way of keeping them alive. That's what I don't like it with the ship, but it's okay if you can figure out how to use it and figure out how to Get it right. It does start off the lock bomb and stun bomb, which is great. I guess it's kind of like one of these suicidal ships where you just send in your crew and then send them in over and over and over again. Hopefully, you kill everyone. But there we go. Uh, that's the Mantis ship. We showed how to get it, how to do all this. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys in the next video.